Can you see it? Good girl, good girl. There you go. All right, all right, all right. Hey guys, how's it going, everybody? This is Storm Pal, and I have to uh, bribe my dog so that way she doesn't, you know, bother me while I'm trying to record videos these days. But anyway, today we are taking a look at the Sony Imaging Edge software. It's a new Sony webcam utility that they released recently, and it works with a handful of their DSLRs and other cameras where basically it allows you to use a Sony DSLR like what I'm recording with right now. Uh, through your computer so you can just plug it in directly through USB and then you can use it in OBS X split you know Skype zoom whatever without the need of a capture card and so today we're taking a look at that software which they have been using for a little while but it's recently got a big push and they are kind of you know publishing it a little bit more making it a little bit more public and in this video I'm gonna be comparing it to a traditional setup which is what you're looking at right now what you're looking at right now is my Sony a5100 with the regular you know stock lens that normally comes with it recorded using uh, my Elgato HD 60s I actually don't have a cam link so I'm just using my normal game capture card but it warrants the exact same results that a cam link would you're getting your 1080p 60 FPS recorded straight out of the Elgato capture card and what I wanted to find out in this video is if the Sony webcam utility would actually work just as good, if not maybe better than this setup. Because, you know, I know most of us out there were on a budget and of course cam links are not really great to come by. Um, I recently ordered a couple of these dudes, you know, these little knockoff can't links as uh, Epos Vox calls them. And uh, I, I can't get any of these to really work for what I need to. I mean, they're surprisingly decent considering I think this one was 20 bucks, this one was 50 bucks, but I'm gonna be returning them both on Amazon because they don't do what they're advertising Advertise. These advertise themselves as being 1080p 60 FPS and while they are 1080p I cannot get them to pass any more than 30 FPS tops and there's a lot of v-sync issues overall The image is just really garbage. I know you get what you paid for but come on they did specifically advertise 1080 60 and like I ain't getting that on any of these so I'm gonna be returning these so I really you know do not want to have to buy a cam link or another capture card it, it seems to be that the the off-brand capture card markets not that great it's kind of hit or miss anyway without further ado let's go ahead and take a look at a couple of examples so again what you're looking at right now is the uh, Elgato recording my capture card using a micro HDMI cable and now what you're looking at is the Sony Imaging Edge and this is using a micro USB cable straight to my computer and using it recorded in OBS Studio and as you can see the quality is surprisingly not bad like you can tell that I'm using a DSLR right now you know the, the aperture and the depth of field is still preserved impressively well the the actual quality that is pushed through just a micro USB cable is pretty impressive that we're not having like an HDMI cable or any kind of actual video cable that's going through here the main problem with the Sony imaging edge software right now is its lack of 60 FPS because as you can see the frame rates are very different like you know right now with this side-by-side -side comparison that you're seeing you can see how much more fluid the frame rate is through my Elgato with a 60 FPS as opposed to the image edge which is currently only supporting 30 FPS which again I understand it's you know over micro USB instead of micro HDMI so there's gonna be limitations and drawbacks but to me I'm kind of an FPS like nerd and I don't mean that I'm like really good at counter-strike because I'm not what I mean by that is like I really pick up on frame rates and uh, and I'm gonna quit waving my hands around I don't know what this is all about anymore but um I'm really picky about frame rates and to me I always like having a high frame rate in videos especially in live streams you know I, I think it's less important in YouTube but for me for some reason I always want to have the highest frame rate possible on my live stream so I don't know that I would want to use something like this for a live stream now the quality is decent technically it's not 1080p let me see what it uh, what it is actually so according to OBS and I did confirm this on the Sony website currently it looks like it only outputs up to 1024 by 576 resolution so it's it's kind of a strange resolution that they've got it's uh, you know basically a little under 720p as far as your resolution goes now granted I'll say oops, so I so that's uh, another little random glitch that you guys just saw but basically I opened up the source and OBS to look at some of that stuff and when I closed it out it did that it showed the little imaging edge logo 
reversed for some reason. I'm not really sure what that was all about. And, uh, and yeah, now we're back here. But basically, it's a little bit under 720p right now. And it looks good for that resolution, I think. Comparing it to the actual 1080p through my Elgato, you know, this, this looks pretty good. Now, obviously, there's gonna be some more details that you can see within the uh, Elgato recording. You know, certain things, like if you look at like my beard, you can see how scraggly it is a little bit better on the Elgato, especially if you're watching like in full screen or, or you know, watching in 1080p and everything. But as opposed to on the image link, you know, everything, it just kind of looks a little bit more just like some hair but you can see the the you know more intimate details just a little bit more and again certain people may not even pick up on this you know if, if you're not really that keen to little details in video or you know looking at the things over there on my my shelf back there certain things might be just a little bit crisper a little bit sharper especially if we're talking about things that are further away from the camera but overall i mean the image is not bad for something that's less than 720p, like this looks pretty good. If you would have asked me to guess what resolution this was, I would have probably said 720p. Heck, I may have even said that it was like a, a slightly toned down 1080p, honestly. The main thing, like I said, that you'll notice is the frame rate being 30 FPS at the most. This might even be closer to 24 FPS. It doesn't really have like an FPS counter, but according to OBS and everything that I've seen, um, the max output that this software supports is currently only 30. FPS. Now, also mind you that I don't have any color correction or anything set on either of these. These are literally straight as they come out of the box. So one other thing that you'll notice too is that the colors are way, 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 way better on the Elgato. And the, the exposure is obviously showing a little bit more. You know, I feel like the gamma is significantly higher when I'm using the Elgato over here, whereas the, the Sony, it's quite a bit darker. Now, this is nothing that can't be fixed with a little bit of color correction. In fact, we'll, we'll do it right now. We'll see what we can do here. Let me add just a little bit of color correction here. So I'm gonna add some color correction here to the, uh, the imaging edge. And what we'll do is we'll raise up that gamma just a little bit. Okay, okay. You know, add a, a scotch of contrast here and maybe lower the brightness just a smidge yeah yeah and give it just a little bit on the saturation and okay so with literally like 10 seconds of color correction this looks a lot better um you know the frame rate is still is what it is and the resolution still is what it is but the colors look a, a lot better and again you can spend even more time playing with this but this was literally just me doing some sliders around so this is with some color correction on the imaging edge and then that's without the color correction so not a huge huge difference and again you'll probably spend more time than that on it but you know it's not like it's an irreparably bad image you know with a little bit of editing that will take you less than five minutes you'll have it looking pretty good i think that if the frame rate doesn't bother you, then this might be the way to go. So this is basically what it looks like, and I wanna know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments down below, but honestly, here's my thoughts. I'm saying that if you already have a DSLR, and you're wanting to use it for your streaming, then this is great. Um, go to the link down in the description below to go see if yours is compatible with this software. You just download it, and once you install it, you can actually just go straight to OBS or straight to Skype or whatever, and you should be able to select the imaging edge as a webcam source. So, you know, I think if you've already got a DSLR, this is a good way to use it really effectively and really quickly. Um, and, and I'll tell you what, we'll even compare it real quick to a good old faithful C922. So this is my Logitech C922, which the lighting is obviously really bad right now. But, you know, just to get you an idea of the frame rate difference between a C922, um, the, the C922 is um, obviously one of the big staples in USB webcams. And, you know, other than DSLRs, this is what a lot of people use. So just so you can get an idea of kind of the frame rate and the overall like resolution right here this is the 1080p 30 fps option on the logitech which to me the 30 fps on this looks a whole lot more like 30 fps there's a little bit of interlace and blur like when i'm moving my hands around and there's not so much that on the sony imaging edge there's not really so much interlace it's just it looks choppier in general so that's why i feel like you know things like the the c922 are your 30 fps and this is more 24 fps but that's that's just what i'm seeing here personally if it were me and and i say that because it is me i did just recently go out and buy this a5100 off ebay i think if you're gonna go ahead and drop the money on getting a camera you may as well get the most out of it by getting yourself a decent capture card there are elgato alternatives online do some research and find yourself a good one that will get you 1080p 60 fps because in my opinion if you are going to spend that kind of money 
on a camera, you should get the most bang for your buck and just spend that little bit extra and actually use it to its full capacity. To me, going out and spending, you know, four or 500, maybe even more dollars on a DSLR and then it looking like this, like that to me doesn't make a whole lot of sense. At that point, I would just stick with your C922 or you know whatever kind of entry level webcam you may have. And then just keep saving up your money, you know, cut something out of your plan. For me, I, I actually quit eating fast food as much. You know, my fiance and I, we have been both wanting to save up for things. You know, for me, it was this camera. And so we decided that we would quit eating out as much, especially fast food. And you know, we would use that money to buy this. And so do something like that, you know, find a way to save some money and get yourself everything that you need. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna continue using my HD 60s for a while until cam links, you know, go down to a more reasonable price, or until maybe I can find a cam link alternative that actually works really well for uh, a more affordable rate. But right now, this is what we're looking at, guys. But if you did enjoy this video, please be sure to check out my other videos. I cover a lot of different topics here regarding Twitch streaming, YouTube content creation, and social media overall about growing your content creation career. So if you have made it to the end of this video, thank you so very much. I really appreciate that. Please be sure to give it a thumbs up, and if you really enjoyed it i would also appreciate it if you would consider subscribing to my youtube channel or following me on twitch i'm currently working towards a thousand subs here on youtube and a thousand followers on twitch so any help i would greatly greatly appreciate it and i would love you forever but anyway guys that is it for this video i would like to thank you all for watching i hope you have a nice day and goodbye